Everybody's uh, enjoying the weekend. It is Saturday. I'm going to be opening the store in about an hour. So I wanted to throw up a quick live stream. Erased from existence. Guys, uh, if you're just joining the channel, being part of the channel, I don't know how you found us because we're severely shadow banned. We're back to shadow banning. And um, I've been doing some research, discussion, talking to people from across the country here in Canada to kind of figure out what is going on. With, uh, with censorship in Canada, what's going on with Bill C-11, what's going on with the breakdown of what they're doing to us here in this country. And D. Trent in the house already in the comments. So we're going to be talking about that this morning on the live stream. So um, if you're new to this channel or you just found this by chance, please look at my real hair. And also uh, comment below if this is your first time here. Uh, we would like to know. Because after doing some considerable digging and fact-checking and looking through things, uh, somebody sent me um, a message from a discussion that was going on between the mainstream media and Canada. What? For YouTube or Facebook... To run freely in Canada, it will have to abide to rules and regulations and guidelines. 2017. So something's been happening, and I've been right about this. For years now, something has been happening in the works. That, okay, YouTube, just like eBay. But you're, you're talking, well, Mike, what are you talking about? Well, eBay. Let's look at eBay. For eBay to function and be allowed for people, I, I closed my eBay account because of this. For people to allow to sell on eBay in Canada, the government of Canada strong armed eBay in telling them if you don't collect, we're going to, eBay is going to collect taxes now from every seller going forward on behalf of the federal government. So eBay took the knee. So I closed my store a few weeks back. It, it was costing me more money to have a store, right? So uh, wearing a coat today must be uh, solstice in play there. No, it's actually cool today. My wanderer's jacket. It's actually cool today because if you see the fog outside, holy crap. It's completely, completely blanketed out the sun. The fog is so thick like a soup, you can't even see two feet in front of you. Wearing so why Singapore and other country like Lebanon running out of money? Uh, well, because money velocity, right? That's, that's a big problem, uh, and we were facing that problem back in 2017. That's why we say 2017, the year of the repo markets, right? And the bail-ins. 2018, the year of the artificially low interest rates. 2019, the year of the protest. 2020, the year of the lockdown, mysteriously. 2021, the year of the forced you-know-what, and 2022, the year of the protest, right? So, yeah, I'm outside seven degrees. Yeah, do you, I don't know where you are, but do you see the friggin' fog outside? It's like you can't even see. I'm here. I'll show you guys. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about it. I can just show it to you guys. Let's go. Hopefully it's, yeah, there it is. Right there. You can't even see the mountain on the horizon. And you can't see the, you just can't see past anything there. And that's how thick it is right there. You can see it. It is pretty, like over there you can see it too. It's actually really bad. It's like I'm surrounded by smoke. So there it is right there, guys. 2023 will be the year of starvation, yes. Well, we talked about the rolling blackouts for the last couple of years now. It's it's you know it's going to be a combination of things, and that's why again, guys, we are 28 weeks out. We're going to be counting out. We're going to be counting it as this out together here. Hopefully, other channels could pick this up and get it get the steamroller going. We are 20 week, 28 weeks out here in the northern hemisphere until things start to we start seeing spring again. Because if they're going to do anything to us, they're going to do it now. And this is why I've been discussing the prepper window, your prepper window, for November, December, January, February, March. And you're like, Mike, 28 weeks is more. I'm talking from today's date, 
I'm just saying 28 weeks till spring. And we're going to be counting that down here on the channel. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, Mike, can't wait to show for the show. Yes, Pamela, can't wait to see you there tonight. Uh, my area in Sydney is like that, too. In north, uh, my, 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 oh, my area is smoky like that, too, in northeast Oregon. Uh, I have a massive headache. Um, no, this is actually not smoke. It's it's fog. Like, it's a blanket of fog, though. It's, it's yeah, we didn't have much smoke here. We didn't have much smoke here. Yeah, I'm wearing my Wanderer's jacket. You can't see the back, but it's got the Wanderer's patch on it. I don't know if you guys ever seen the movie The Wanderers, right? But I might play that trailer tonight on Mike in the Night, uh, trailer of the week. Uh, December was the the day weather warning, uh, Antarctica and chilly, bad weather, cold. Yeah, so there's somebody there internationally that could tell us what's going on. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, is it cold there? It's only like 8 degrees here today. Yesterday was beautiful. I had the door open. Tomorrow's going to be nice again. It's The weather's like this, but it's because of the, the fog. The fog is so thick. Thick. We don't get this kind of cool weather until at least the end of Halloween, early November. Uh, this kind of 8 to 10 degree weather until Christmas. And then we get our first snowfall usually uh, around January. And then March is spring, right? But, but um, yeah, we got people in the comments. Okay, guys, erased for from from existence. What is going on, guys? I want to thank you all for sending me um, links. Hey, Mike, this guy is also talking about what you're talking about. Hey, Mike, this channel's been talking about what you've been talking about for, but 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 the but the channel's like eight months old, and he's getting sixty thousand views per video, so. That's the problem that we're facing here. I think there's specific people that are specifically targeted. Now, I got this blurb from somebody. He says, Mike, I love you. Uh, he's in Newfound, was it New Brunswick? I love you, Mike, like a brother. And he basically said, here's a little blurb for you to read. Uh, for YouTube and Facebook to run freely in Canada, it will have to be, sorry, it would have uh, to abide to the rules and regulations 2017 yeah yeah 2017 so there's something that's going on and that's why canada like like you know when people say wow you got like 5000 youtube videos and no one's you why do you have no subscribers i looked at some of your videos and you were talking you were bang on 10 years ago about stuff yeah the problem with that is i'm in canada right if i'm in, in a canadian territory just like eBay, just like eBay, the government has control. The government has total control of eBay in Canada if eBay wants to operate in Canada and ship and buy and sell in Canada. So eBay took the knee a few weeks back where they're now collecting taxes on behalf of the federal government. And that's why I had to shut my store down because I could use that tax money to offset some of my expenses here. But that's not allowed. When we had the HST, that was the best thing in the world. The HST, one tax, you pay one tax you offset and your taxes are done for the year. But then they put back all the multiple taxes, made it complicated for small businesses to basically uh, not make it. Or in that southern area anywhere, uh, Chile, uh, too close copper mining smelter after environmental emergency. Lots of humans are protesting think they're protesting in Chile. Yeah, Chile's been protesting. We covered that on Mike of the Night three times already in the last couple of weeks alone. Chile's been in heavy protests again. Chile was in protest back in 2019 uh, because of this, because they're shutting down the private sector there and governments want to take total control. Uh, this was happening in uh, back in, tw it was, it's been happening since 2010. But in 2019, people got fed up and protested, right? And that's why we keep saying the year of the protest, the year of this, the year of that, the year of that. And a lot of channels have actually jumped on that recently. And have really made it, like, really made it good. Like, I actually got the word out, you know what I'm saying? But th the difference between us and a lot of other places out there, we're at, we actually predicted this stuff. We didn't post-dict. There's a lot of post-dictions happening out there. And who cares about post-dictions, right? Oh, Matthew, so good to see you. How you doing, mate? I, I follow you on, um, I think sometimes I'm on Instagram and I see your stuff that you post and some of the work you do. Uh, good on you. Uh, good to see you. 
Good to see you. Maybe join us tonight or your afternoon because you're in Australia on Mike in the Night. Uh, your Sunday noon, I think it's noon or one o'clock. PayPal and eBay going woke, so going broke. Watch out and wait. Exactly, says Vman293. This is what's happening right now, folks. You know? Mike, re-upload some of your relevant videos, uh, the year of the protest and all that stuff. Uh, I have. I've made videos pertaining to the videos we made already uh, going way back. Like, we're talking about during the year of the repo market. Uh, Mike and the Knights from 2018. We already discussed, like, the world was in protest. But the best thing that they could do, or the one thing they could find to mask it, was blame climate change. It's climate change or climate emergency or climate. So all the mainstream media back in 2019, all the protests in the Yellow Vest movement, all the protests in Hong Kong, all the protests in Libya, the protests in Syria, the protests in Germany, the protests in Poland, Chile, Argentina, Guatemala, Mexico, all those protests weren't climate change. It was no confidence in governments, period. Well, I'm glad that a lot of other channels are, are picking that up and moving forward with it. I, unfortunately, you know, got my butt kicked. When we were researching Hunter Biden's laptop two and a half years ago, the amount of death threats I've gotten. The, when I talked about the money laundering in Canada uh, 10 years ago, voicing what's going on and how Canadian middle class will no longer exist, uh, the videos up by 2016, 2017. I just got threats and I got trashed. That's what happens when you predict. But when you go there and post-dict things, you get the views. Everybody wants to see the post-dictions. Nobody cares about the predictions. Yeah, I'm, I am seeing uh, things in schools now introducing bug-eating stuff, uh, stuff excursions. Yeah. And they're taking kids to factories to go see the bug plants that are funded by the federal governments. Not... No private sector individual that has money will say, hey, this is the best idea in the world. Let's open a bug factory. I love bugs. Yeah. So the Wanderers, I'm wearing a Wanderers jacket. I wish I, I wish I could show you guys, you know what? I'll show you guys the patch on the back. Walking around town as a Wanderer. Bed and bath, yep, they're shutting down 150 plus doors. Um, Ian Singh in the house. Hope you're doing well. FBI lawsuit works on economic CIA. Let me show the guys, show you guys the back of my jacket. It's actually not cold in here. It's actually nice and warm. But there's my Wanderers jacket. There it is, the Wanderers. So I bought this, I don't know, a couple of years back. It's from the movie. I love the movie, The Wanderers. It's actually kind of warm in here. I'll take it off. Okay, so what do we got going on? So, the guys, this is big. This would be the uh, the uh, wipe out, wiping out of uh, Mike Martin's or the... Right there. Canada's TV networks look to Bill C-11 as a lifeline. It's... The wrong solution. Toronto Sun posted that 19 hours ago. Canada's going to go dark, guys, and I've been talking about this for 11 uh, for a long time. We talked about Bill C-11 50 times. Bill C-11, the monstrosity of an attempt by the Trudeau Liberals to regulate the online world, got support from some of Canada's biggest broadcasters this week. Now, obviously, the big broadcasters like the CPZ, the CTV, the Canadian taxpayer-funded media is going to say we need to get rid of you we need to get rid of these these people because these people not only are they predicting things that are coming true years in advance but um yeah it's it's going to get worse before it gets any better right uh cesar thomas uh sorry cesar in the comments is saying nuke war is almost here we might have that's why russia's been pulling out its troops from the ukraine and the ukraine thinks it's actually winning the war i'm actually thinking um, I think it is something big is going to happen there. So you heard it here first. Another channel, pick it up and run with it. Okay, Stephen Sewell, Florida. Homeowners will see new surcharge on insurance bills to cover insol uh, insolvent companies. Wow. 
Okay, everyone's giving me, waving, waving, saying hi. Okay, so here it is there. So there it is right there. Uh, I have no time for this bill, which could completely alter the way we create and consume content online in this country in ways that are only for the worst. But I understand where, uh, where the broadcasters are coming from. So the broadcasters are losing in Canada to people like us. Uh, not really me, because for, I'm severely shadow banned, so I don't even get my stuff out anyway. So... Uh, course entertainment of blah, 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 okay the biggest TV networks in Canada day after day are no longer Canadian at all they are unregulated foreign streamers so that's what they're saying that um, it's compelling argument fr from the broadcasters they simply want level playing fields the broadcasters had the 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 broadcasters are the level play. They're the ones that everybody still goes to when you go to airports, doctor's offices. You, you know, you see, like, mainstream media, The View, and some CNN, and some cooking shows on CNN. That's the stuff you see, right? So, I don't know. Traditional broadcasters in this country are subject to the regulations of the CRTC and have uh, no end of compliance terms in order to keep their licenses. They operate, so to keep the licenses, is they're getting paid by taxpayers to keep their doors open by following the status quo narrative by the Trudeau government, or any government, so to say, because this will never get walked back. It doesn't matter who you put into power. They'll never walk this back. Canada wants this. This is for Canada, right? And that's why Canadians are leaving, like, uh, Canadians are are exiting or mass exodusing this country faster than you could ever imagine. We've been talking about brain drains here on this channel for 10 years now, right? Okay, so there it is. Traditional broadcasters in this country are subject to regulations. We, we did that already. So there it is right there. So there is a big issue brewing right now where they want to regulate everything that goes. So Canada's TV networks look like Bill C-11. As a, as a lifeline, it's the wrong solution. So these TV networks hope that Bill C-11 gets passed, cuts us out of the equation, and allows people to go back to the news. I don't, uh, I don't think people are going to, like if Mike in the Night gets canceled, I don't think people are going to stop. Uh, I don't think people are going to go back to the news to find out what's going on because it's all bullshit, right? So that's the problem right there, right? So here it is. Uh, Bill C-11 hearings are back, part four, the risk of trade challenge and tariff uh, tariff retaliation. Uh, this Michael Geist guy has a lot of stuff here. Misleading on Bill C-11, why did the CRTC sit on the Radio Canada decision for nearly eight months? And this guy's got a lot of work out there. So there it is from the Canadian government. And talking about uh, uh, to amend Broadcasting Act, Online Streaming Act. So basically, they're going to make it very clear. And it basically states there that um, they will be shutting things down. Uh, Bill C-11, some prices. Blah, 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 blah. Bill C-11 hearings are back. Part 3, the risk of higher consumer costs, less competition, and little new money uh, for film production. So there it is. Canada's going to go dark. I told you guys this many times. Now, what's going on? Now, let's go back. Yeah, treat... Uh, uh, sorry, someone says... Uh, Trent, uh, try cash uh, some out in gold and silver. I, w I would recommend. European Union uh, my, may, may, may have a law lawsuit. Stop copyright physical. I would... Stop copyright. No. Stop copyright. APK app must be shut down. So uh, so here it is, guys. So this is the, the quote that was given to me from somebody. Was it Nova Scotia or New Brunswick? No, I can't remember. I have to go back into the email. This is from 2017. For YouTube, YouTube or Facebook to run freely in Canada, it will have to abide to rules and guide canadian rules and guidelines sorry i keep reading it differently because i can't read over my own writing 2017 that was something that was already in process where they were already regulating one well, proof here goes internet goes down across canada my channel got no views but the internet goes down boom 
boom. Look at that. I never get this many views. And then, boom. I'm silenced again now that Roger's internet is back up. Because we don't have competition uh, here for, we have two or three internet providers that are heavily regulated by the Canadian government, it makes it almost impossible for us. It's very easy for them to regulate us when there's two or three internet providers in Canada that are regulated by the federal government through protectionism. And we did a protectionism video here. Um, Canada's protectionism out of control. There it is. So that's why Canada... So that's why I ask you guys, I beg you guys, to keep following what is happening in Canada. Well, I'm in America. I'm like, what does it matter? It matters. Because America was a few years behind of the Amerifornia, you know, it, it, America was a few years behind. Now they're catching up with, 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 with that idiot there. What's his name? Um, Joe Biden. Now that that idiot's in power or that idiot was selected, selected, not elected. Basically what happened was now you see what's happening now on the forefront here and Canada, Canada, America will be Canada in five years. So Okay, so let's go here. Guys, don't forget to join us tonight on Mike in the Night on Odyssey. If you get this, please. I'm not getting too many people watching Mike in the Night anymore. Um, it, it's on Odyssey tonight. We'll be live at 7 o'clock, um, 7 p.m. Pacific time. If you guys want to join us, please join us on Mike in the Night. And why do I have this open? I don't know why. There's the mic of the night there, and that's what it looks like on Odyssey. If you want to join us on Odyssey, join us tonight. Mic of the night, last episode, didn't get too much viewership, but 456 was not that bad. Pendulum swings back. Check it out, guys, if you get some time. It's actually not a bad episode. We got some really good callers, lots of good rate people. So there it is right there. And we got, yeah, so let, let, let's take a look at this. Now, let's open this first. Facebook spied on private messages of the Amer Americans who questioned the 2020 election. So, and they were sending the information to the FBI. Facebook has been spying on private messages and data of American users and reporting them to the FBI if they express anti-government or anti-authority sentiments. So there it is. America is catching up to Canada. Now, watch this. 113,000 followers in around, I think, 2008 or nine. Uh, sorry, 2018, or I, I think it was, I can't remember what it was, 2016 or 2017 or 20, I just, I just didn't grow, nothing happened after. And when I post something, not a single person sees it. There's tonight's mic in the night, 113,000 followers on Facebook, and this was years ago, and it's never moved. I barely post anything on here anymore because nobody, big episode of Mike in the Night last night, how many people saw it? Two, two, two people. Or two people liked it. And before, when this video was, when this channel was hopping on fire, I would be getting 80 to 100 followers per day on Facebook. And again, this is like, again, like 20, 2013, 2014, 2015, right? I think it tells me when I started this page on here. But, but you see what I'm saying? It's like they basically shut it all down. They basically shut it down. Wish you were on Rumble easier for me. I did try the whole Rumble thing. I did pay a subscription to Rumble. I did try a few test live streams. And then when I needed the stream key to go live and I promoted a big mic in the night, I promoted a really big mic in the night, couldn't go live on Rumble. And then I received an email a few days later or a week later and basically stating that my content doesn't co coincide or whatever with their views or whatever it was so i just said forget it so I, unfortunately it's just odyssey and we are blocked and shadow ban on odyssey too so it's 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 part of the it's part of the game right uh how can world international computer website pay up works sing up sing up works and be at this website uh rumble still in hack mode Okay, Facebook, YouTube, or a sad toilet. So that's what happened with that. And then I even asked Facebook if they could actually verify, uh, if they could actually verify my channel. And you know what they said? You are not, oh, what did they say? What did they say about me? They said something about me, why they couldn't verify this channel. Because I'm not a credited person. I'm not like a real person. I'm not credited. 
I'm not a real person or I'm not someone that they want to verify. And this was back in 2018, 2019. I tried to verify this page when I reached 140,000 followers. Now I'm just, I guess, as accounts get deleted, this starts to fall apart, right? Okay, let's keep going here. So we did a video here. Now, I want to show you the, show this to you guys. We did a video here six weeks ago about eating crickets. And it, the whole show was about, or, let's see if it says it here. Uh, yeah, special uh, one night only. And it's about eating crickets, basically, and cricket factories and the ingredients in crickets. Uh, we, we went over it. There I am right there on the show with Eduardo and Kevin J. Johnson, and I think Stefanos is down there. We were on the show together. We did the show six weeks ago. I clipped out this video, okay? I clipped out the video, okay? And when you search, let me bring that back here, crickets, the video's gone. It's gone. And it wasn't no cop. There was no music. There was no copyright. I was on the show right there. I clipped it out. Kevin, this this Freedom Report is not on YouTube, so it wouldn't uh, create a copyright. They would have notified me if it did. And it's you search across the channel, the video is gone. It was six, seven weeks ago, right? So that is the problem. Like videos are being taken down now. You want more proof? Watch this. I had more views on my channel back in 2017, 2018. In 2018, I actually had more views on my channel than I do today. It makes absolutely no sense. And then I started digging even further. Watch this. Watch this. This is very interesting. Look at my video. Look at my videos that, they, that are allowed to be up. And then look at me selling this car, my, my old Corvette, okay? And then trading it in for a family car for my family. Now, what's so important? Well, if you go back to my videos from the beginning of the channel, watch this. Watch this. By the time I got here, I already had 1,300 videos up. Look how many videos I have up now, up to this point. I had 13 to 1,400 videos, and I verified this with a, a past employee that worked for me. I said, how many videos did I have up roughly when I sold the Corvette? And I, like, I remember that that pinnacle on your channel where you reached 800 or 1,000 subscribers because this was my second channel. I was already at about 1,300 videos. Look how many videos I have now. Look. Gone. Everything. Right to that point. Can you guys believe that? I, I can't believe it. I, sh I And then I took a screenshot, showed it to my previous employee that worked for me down on the coast in Vancouver. He looked at, looked at it and said, whoa, I remember, because I was kind of laughing inside that you made 1,300 videos and you only had 800 or 1,000 subscribers. I was kind of laughing inside. And then what were the videos that were gone? Talking about empty streets, middle class disappearing, all this stuff. What? But they took down my first channel back in 20. 2012 or 20, 2012, they took down my first channel with no strikes, nothing. And then now I go back, I look at my videos, I'm missing a whole pile of videos. I'm talking a lot of work. I'm talking about like 13 to 15, 1200 videos. I don't even know. And I was floored. I was absolutely floored. So all these videos were gone to this point. What was it that I was talking about at this point in time that they, they just didn't want the videos to be up? I don't understand, right? And then some of the videos that managed to survive, Canadian middle class disappearing, targets closing, food becoming unaffordable. So we go back to this connecting the dots platform that I made from 2015, basically showing you guys what was happening. And uh, look, empty streets in Vancouver. Some of them remained housing market uh Vancouver housing bubble out of control. Governments asking citizens to stockpile food. That wasn't Canadian governments. And it was just just making these videos. Look, death of retail by 2020. And I'm putting these up here because I'm afraid that these videos will be taken down. Uh, these are from the 2015 carousel, whatever video row thingy, talking about what was happening already. So they've already been working us here. They've already been taking it away from us here in Canada. I wish I was in an American territory or uh, somewhere, Guam, I don't even care, somewhere in America where I could have broadcasted and discussed these speaking points years ago. 
Years ago, I could have talked about this. Uh, and I was talking about this. And when you do predictions, you get a lot of backlash from people. People threaten you. People want to beat you up. People don't want to see their thing. You know, when you do predictions. But now, all these channels are coming out. They're not even a year old. 50, 60, 70, 80, 100,000 subscribers. And they're talking about, they're allowed to talk about, and if I talk about it on here, they strike me. So is it because I'm in Canada, though? That's the thing. Is it because I'm in Canada? I'm really strongly believing now that because I'm in Canada, I am so censored to the rest of the world. I'm like, nobody, I don't know. I don't know what to say anymore. I think we're at this point where, you know, Jeff Browick was typing his newsletter in, I think, Adobe. They updated it and made it so he couldn't save his work. Yeah. So many AstroTurf channels now. Yeah. Yeah, I had somebody come in and visit me here on Wednesday. Sorry, Wednesday. They came in in person, and they were coming from Calgary. And they're on their way to the coast. Lady came in and shook my hand and says, Mike, you are an absolute legend. You are the real voice. You are the guy that took a lot of BS from people over all the years. You are the man. And I wanted to come here and make a stop because I need to... Because when she made the stop, she was telling people in the car, she's like, I have to go see this guy in Merritt, BC. I know where he's going to be. How many people do you know on social media you could find that you could walk into? I mean, mind you, when I'm open, that you could come in and see in person? Nobody. There's no... Unless somebody has a channel of fishing or come and meet me at the lake here, I'll be fishing. That's different. That's different. But I'm talking about people that are talking about things and progressing and moving things along and finding solutions. I don't know if you looked at our last 10 Mike of the Nights. We're trying to find solutions now. Okay, we predicted this years ago. It's it's there. But now what, right? Mike Martin, love-hate relationship. AR says most of the channels gets shut down most of the channels get shut down mike hey mike can i call you tonight yes you can you could call me tonight yeah killing you uh killing youtube killing facebook yeah and that's what's happening folks that's where it's headed south korea president yoon suk you will make his first bilateral trip to canada next week for what uh so it's because you're in Canada, it's because you are you. It's not because you're in Canada, it's because you are you. There's something happening in Canada, guys. I'm telling you, man. And they've been doing this to us. They've been trying to silence the European. At one point, the Europeans were the majority in Canada. They built this. This infrastructure was built by Europeans. It didn't come from heaven, right? So... Like, whoa, what are you talking? Some guy came in and talked to me the other day. And I'm like, what are you talking about? This entire town was built by Dutch immigrants. I'm like, that's, uh, or Dutch or Swiss people uh, that built the cold in this whole town. I'm like, that's Europe. He's like, that's not Europe. I'm like, that's Europe. These Western countries were all, the Portuguese colonized Brazil, Portuguese America. The Spanish, the Spanish did Mexico. The, the, the English did, did uh, North America. You know what I'm saying? The English were late to everything. That's why they got the coldest continents. But they were late, they were, they were late to everything. So, uh, Matthew's asking if, if anyone's seen Nostradamus book prediction of the queen. Uh, Werewolf is saying, YouTube took a lot of channels away. Anyone making sense? No? Okay, hold on. Go to Russell Brand. He's getting a million subscribers a week. And he's so proud of it. And all he's doing is regurgitating what we said on this channel for the last 10 freaking years. Oh, the disappearing middle class. Oh, Amerifornia is happening. This and I'm like, holy shit. How the hell is Russell Brand allowed to say all this stuff? But he gets into specifics that we can't even talk about on here. I've already been suspended 14 times on this this channel here. I've been suspended 14 times. Well, Mike, you get three strikes, you're out. No, they give you one strike, you can't post any, you can't live stream for a month. They give you two strikes, you can't post anything for 60 days, right? Then you wait for one strike to fall off and then you don't really post anything till that other strike falls off. 
And I've done that many times. It's been 14 strikes I've gotten on this channel for hinting of certain things. But if you go to Russell Brand right now, that guy, watch what we talk about five, six, seven years ago on the channel. Watch Russell Brand. You'll be like, wow, this guy's the best post dictor in the world. He's been post dicting everything on this. How was he allowed? To so what is it? Is it controlled opposition? So, Mike, speaking facts, this is next level now. This is next level nowadays. This is Russell Banner PSYOP, at least partially. Something is happening, okay? For me to bring up specific word salads, go watch the video on my channel. Please, sir, may I have a plug? Go, go look it up on the channel. Go look it up. Please, sir, may I have a plug? I make a specific word salad BS stuff trying to make sense of what was happening in the Ukraine war. Word salad makes no sense with Mexico and, and China and all this weird crap. A big channel picks it up. A big channel regurgitates what I said word for word, piece by piece. I don't understand. I don't get it. Like, I don't, I, 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 I never understood this. There's always a source. There's always a plant. There's always a seed, right? And this channel has been dedicated. That's why we have our prediction show every year. Go back to Mike of the Night predictions. 2016, 2017 predictions. 2017 to 2018 predictions. 2018 to 2019 predictions. 2020 to 2021 predictions. We do a prediction show every year a week before the new year. We do our Christmas show every year. And then we do our Mike in the Night prediction show. Go look up our prediction shows. We got in 50, 60 call-ins. Everyone gets seven minutes. They come on. Tell us the predictions for the next. Predictions, predictions, predictions. 95% of the people that watch this channel or watch it on Odyssey or watch it wherever they did were spot on. Were completely spot on on their predictions. Like 97%. Believe it or not. I don't know if it's the unifying of the minds. I don't know if it's the unifying of, uh, and then these other bigger or these other big channels pick up the crumbs and then move forward and kind of like, that's what I'm trying to figure out here. I could understand if I haven't been, if I've been doing this for the last two years and, uh, oh, I said something and, oh, wow, yeah. 10 years and I got channels shut down. Mike, I'm glad I found you four years ago. Good. There, there's proof right there. Someone could prove my existence four years ago. Somebody could prove it right there in the comments. Way before 95% of the channels that are out there right now post-dicting everything. Makes no sense. So, woo! I got my Wanderer's jacket on today, man. They call me the Wanderer. The Wanderer's. Mike, it's about controlling the information. Yeah, th that's the thing. That's the thing with thing. Uh, controlling the information. Here, here, here. Hmm. I'm getting threatened. I was getting threatened back in 2015. Watch this. Watch this. Mike Martin's channel. Just want to throw up this video uh, discussing the. Um, the wall, uh, the target closures in Canada. That's just the that's just the tip of the iceberg. It's gonna get worse because the middle class is being diminished in Canada. It's gone. The middle class is gone. Middle class is house broke. What we, what we... And you go on watch bank runoffs from all back from 2015, and you go into very specific, very specific talking points, and that video didn't even get 30 views. And that's what I'm like in Canada, something's going on with the regulations of people and being allowed to speak. I moved from Ontario to Alberta 10 years ago uh, for the for the reasons Mike has been talking about. It was too expensive to live in Ontario. It's algorithms now. Even the stock market is AI, says M. Howell. Property is still cheap in Alberta. By the uh, by, the way, other other than Cam Camrose and Banff, etc. Yeah. 
So a lot of, you know, I think Banff has become very predominantly Chinese now from what I last heard. It's becoming very, like Whistler, BC became uh, predominantly Chinese owned now too. Uh, an Ontario man with cancer is languishing in hospital in British Columbia because his local hospital does not have a bed available. Yeah, so yeah, that that's um yeah, that's been happening too. We talked about the hospital cutbacks and closures in 2019. We talked about store closures in 2019. We, I mean, even going before 2019. All this stuff that's happening now was already happening before the you know what. I'm not allowed to say it on here because I'm not Russell Brand. Right? But I want to let you guys know this was already happening before and I was trying to shed light on this. And then now I said, you know, I really want to dedicate my channel to prove to people, to show to people, to make people understand that all this stuff that's happening now was already happening in 2019 before the you know what. The you know what needed to be put in place to stop people from protesting around the world. That's it. Governments were losing grip. Now today, governments are losing grip. Now they want to censor our internet. They want to shut us down. And they want to take away our God-given right at birth of our freedom of expression, freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom of the press. And then Trudeau comes on and says, we're not like America with their this and that and their laws and this and that. And I'm just like, Whoa, I would dream for an American takeover with a proper president, that is. If America had it like a John F. Kennedy or even an Eisenhower, man, I don't even care, man. Um, uh, I would dream for an American takeover and dissolve the monarchy here, dissolve our crown land and actually free us from all this bullshit protectionism that we're in here. That's all it is, protectionism. So Ugo the Urn is saying, nothing is real. Don't worry, be happy. Yes, a uh, thousand silver. I write Canadian paper off. Uh, we need Trump back in office. Uh, Hector saying, I love you. I love you too. Biden is boring. Biden didn't get 8 million votes, by the way. Uh, Mike, have you watched the YouTube channel called Solare Amor Finance? No, I don't watch nothing on YouTube. Because on YouTube, everything is being sent. People are specifically talking in patterns. Unless they're Russell Brand. But people are specifically talking in patterns on YouTube. Which disallow them from actually telling what it is. That's why I, I never watch YouTube. I look at some of my old videos that I made 10, 15 years ago. Trying to figure out. I found a small hard drive with some backup videos from my first channel. From like 2011. So I might be putting up some of those videos, right? I don't know who Jimmy Dore is. Not even Jimmy Dore. Don't know who that is. So I don't know. I don't follow anybody. I don't follow anybody. And when we were uh, doing Mike of the Night, we kept talking about... I used to follow... A long time ago, I used to follow Gerald Salente until he, he, he coined the term that when people have nothing and they fight back, uh, because they when people lose everything and they have nothing... All they have left is to fight back, right? And he coined that term. And I'm, what? We've been saying that on Mike in the Night for years. I stole that from the movie Fast and Furious 5 when they went to Brazil. And they actually discussed that and why they speak Portuguese in Brazil. And after I saw, like, everyone coming on my channel on Mike in the Night, yeah, Gerald Salente said that basically that when um, you have nothing and you have nothing to lose, all you have is to fight back. I'm like, we said that on the channel, but I, I took that from... The Furious Five from the movie from 20, 2012 or 2013. I took that and I said that multiple times. I said it on morning coffees with Mike and everything. But nothing is, is like I don't believe in anything anymore when it comes to other, you know, content creators and what they're doing and stuff. I just don't follow them. I don't care. I've been on my path for years, way before most of these channels even existed. I think housing bubble just popped. Yep. Oh, it's over. It's gone. The housing bubble was sold last month. If, 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 uh, what was that? If they are a member, it comes up to WeForm site. Thousands of mourners lined up along the River Thames. Not as much as there was a lot more people. No, 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 no. That's nothing. There was more people during Princess Diana's funeral. 50 times more. 
there was probably 30 square blocks of people, 40 square blocks of London in flowers and mourning for Princess Diana. They don't want to show a comparison of maybe a big channel could take this and compare uh, the Queen of England versus Princess Diana. More people were mourning Princess Diana. Salente made uh, made sense. He stole your phrase. No, no, no. I've been saying that phrase for a long time. When people have nothing and they have the, then people come on Mike of the Night and tell me, yeah, Salente kept saying that. No, no, no. We've been saying this for years. We even played the video on Mike in the Night. We played the video from the quote where we took the movie from. That's what I'm talking about. I'm just so sick and tired of just everybody's fake. Fake. I don't, I don't, I just don't even care anymore. I just, I don't even watch nothing on YouTube because everything is specifically talking points or they're controlled opposition. Period. Ah, so here it is. So look at this. House pricing. House prices skyrocketing all over the world. 2015 video carousel. This is something we've been talking about. Look at this. Things are getting bad. China's destroying my community. And that was the fentanyl and all the drugs coming in. Food is costing more than my rent. So, so there it is right there. Look, mass exodus, young families leaving, brain drain. Toronto home prices invaded by investors. And then when Vancouver put the foreign buyers tax on. We could go on here for hours looking at videos, thousands of videos I made. Telling people to calculate your TDS. Homes are new ATM machines. Calculate your TDS. And I've been doing this for so long. So... There it is right there for years and years. Double digit correction needed. Skyrocketing. $1,000 hydro bill. Prices out of control. Seniors can't afford hydro. And Canada was, was uh, getting in more Chinese population to bring money, of course. Housing crisis, and that's when China had to put capital flows. Let me see if I find the video here. Here it is. China clamps down on banks moving currency overseas. Get out of Sydney, Australia. Leaving Vancouver, I'm done. You know, I'm not talking bad about nobody. Um, bad to, about talking about anybody or anything, but... Oh, or talking about, you know, about any other channel. I don't, I don't, nobody even cares. Nobody even sees this channel. So it doesn't really matter. But, but it's just when you, when nobody plugs you or says, hey, you know, there's a, there's a little small business owner that's been making videos for over 10 years and got a first channel shut down. And he's been talking like when not even, you know, like when that whole Jordan Peterson thing, I, I talked about two days where Canadians were, were going to run off no confidence in the governments and people will take money. Two days after, Jordan Peterson makes a huge announcement and talks about exactly what we spoke about in that video. And it really hurt. You know, it really, really hurt when you're predicting things or you're bringing things to light and you basically just don't exist. That is the, the problem we're having here. So let's go back to that video I want to show you guys because this is very friggin' important because this video made, and then a guy made a video about what Jordan Peterson said and got half a million views on that too. And what did he say? He was talking about what, so if you go back to our backup channel here, if you go to our backup channel, uh, right there, Mike of the Night and all live streams, you go there, there's a video, we had to cover the trucker protest here because um, because my channel got banned, my main channel. Um, let me see if I could find it here. There's there's Dorico. There's the guys there. There's the covering Mike in the Night footage there for us on the channel. But our YouTube channel was banned, so we couldn't put up any of the videos on the main channel. Banks going digital now. Oh my God, Joe Rogan said something. There it is. Thank you, Jordan Peterson, for basically getting the word out. And where's the video? Where's the video? Did it get taken down? Right there. Canadians to withdraw money from their banks. 
This was exactly two days before it went, before all the big channels took it. So here it is. I'm Let's go talking about, you know. Here it goes. Well, it's here, guys. It's arrived. People are starting or have lost total confidence in their governments. This will cause a runoff on the monetary system. And that is major for a country. And this is something that countries uh, do not look forward to because the day of reckoning always shows up with pitchforks and torches. So here on the channel, I mean, we've been talking about, you know, banks running out of liquidity. We did talk about a couple of bank runs that were happening in Australia. We had another one in France in 2019 with the Gilles de Jean. So and, there it is right there. I talked about the runoffs and, and the freezing bank accounts are coming. And what did they do two days after February 17th? The government of Canada started freezing bank accounts of people that donated to the trucker convoy and people were removing bat money from their bank accounts. That was two days before. That was February 15th, 2022. And then two days later, a couple of big channels rolled in, took that, friggin' ran with it. And then people made videos about what they said and got half a million views on that too. So that's the seeding. Like, okay, I'm seeding, I'm putting things out there. I'm the one taking the risk making the prediction. Because when you make predictions and they don't come true, you look like garbage. You get you, you get more threatened and you get more and more discredited. So, well, people are commenting, Mike, you still having to pay high shipping costs for mail? Yes, I stopped shipping a few months back. Because the shipping in Canada got so far out of control. I, I, I can't afford to ship anything anymore. The, the shipping costs are more than the product. So I, I can't afford to ship anymore. I, I can't. Maybe we'll, show, we'll have an auction or two on Mike in the Night. I'll put, I'll put one thing up on eBay or something. And then you guys could go over and auction for it and help me out. Or something. Because it's gotten really bad. The, the government protectionism with shipping companies in Canada has taken over. The government protectionism on our airlines. Uh, the government protectionism um, has basically taken control of us, like through everything. I can't even get a solar inverter that's CSA approved. I can't get anything because the government controls everything. Oh, Mike, you're in the private sector. You have your own business. They tax me to death. I'm paying $4,300 for property tax in a town with two stoplights. Some people say three. It's a, it's a mystery to most. Uh, by the way, I love Zil Silver says Dirk Zink. Uh, Alan, that's about right. I think bottom out to... It's funny how some people think... We already hit the bottom of the housing market. We are at least three years away from hitting the bottom, in my opinion. I might be wrong. No, Alan, you're not wrong. We need wages, so we need to get average private sector wages. Government wages don't count. Makes no sense. We're making $200,000 working for HR for the federal government, and I don't know what I do at work all day. Those jobs don't count because those jobs will be gone like that once you get a government in play that gets rid of the, the half of the public sector that's useless in Canada. Once they get rid of half of that, whew. so the problem we're facing here is we need housing to be four times the uh, your annual income of the median annual income. So if your median annual income is, a, let's say, 85000 a year times four, that's what a house should be, realistically. That's what you should be paying for a house, realistically. Okay? And that's what um, should be, it should be uh, what, four and a half times your annual income, right? So that's, that's the problem. Uh, we're not nowhere near that. There's a lot of red states in America where you could go to where it is four or five times your annual income and you could get by buying a six, seven bedroom for $140,000 with land. Don't make me show you right now. I'm not in the mood to look it up because I could show it to you and I could show you thousands of properties for that much in the red states of America. I'm not in the mood to, to look that up right now. But anyways, I, um, what time is it now? Oh, 10.50. I'm going to be opening here in a few minutes, folks. You're more than welcome to come down and visit me here at 1925 Quilchina Avenue in downtown Merrick, British Columbia. If you 
want to come down and talk about something, maybe have a coffee with me, or maybe discuss current events in your area. I'm always here for you. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys tonight on Mike of the Night, where we could speak freely for now. And I don't know what's happening with this Bill C-11. And uh, it looks like, you know, anything that gets put into motion or discussed and crosses the floor a few times, it becomes a thing. So if you're just joining us, because I'm seeing a whole bunch of... Uh... So... Everybody's uh, joining us now. Um, go ahead and go to the beginning of this transmission when it's uploaded. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Mike Martin's here. I have spoken. <laughs>